Look at all that stress on my shoulders. Look at the pump on my left and right shoulder. Guys, you can build muscle with no weight. This is brutal. So welcome to the lion's den. Very cheap member fees. Got a lot of signups so far. I will be very honest. These five exercises in today's video were stolen from other YouTubers because I never thought that you could get a really good shoulder workout with absolutely zero weight. Like how is that even possible? How could you get a, a workout that could actually grow your shoulders without using any weight, any equipment from home? So what I did is I tried over a hundred different shoulder exercises from all the at home and body weight videos on YouTube. I spent a whole day on this and I picked out for you guys my five favorite moves. Two are from AthleanX, two is from a channel called Fitness Facts, and one is from Austin Denim, I believe his name is. So I'm gonna show you guys these five moves and it was actually a brutal shoulder workout. Guys, you can build any muscle in the human body with absolutely zero equipment. It's all about activation and overload and you can tweak your body to create tremendous amounts of overload right on those deltoids. So let's get into these five moves. So this first move mimics a barbell overhead press and it's called a pike push-up. Now, there are a few specific verbal cues I'm gonna give you so you guys have the perfect form on this. So first one here is hands slightly inside shoulder width apart, facing forward. Hand position is gonna be very important throughout this workout. Now, what you're gonna do here is think about a standard push-up like this. Now what you're gonna do, is you're gonna walk up on your tippy toes, and the more that you walk up on your tippy toes, the harder the move is gonna be. So find a position, feels good, and now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna lean forward and back. Second shoulder move is gonna be called delt flutters. Now this one is really unique because what you're gonna be doing is, the starting position's kind of funny. Think about your arms kind of being at a dead hang right in front of your body. Now with this one, we wanna use a balloon method. Time under tension, 45 seconds. Really optimize activation and going for 45 seconds time under tension. So watch this. This move may look very easy from the convenience of your couch right now, but I promise you it will burn those delts. So on this particular type of move, what I actually recommend you do is you grab a little stopwatch. So let's use my phone. I'll start the stopwatch and I go for 45 seconds. So what you could do is you could go one at a time. And in order to actually feel this move, you have to squeeze at the top and hold it. So you're not just raising your arm up and down. You actually have to be at a, a full dead hang, raise it up as high as you can, squeeze, hold it, back down slow and controlled. So if you're a beginner, you can just go one arm at a time. If you're advanced, go both arms at a time. So set a stopwatch on the ground, go for 45 seconds, time under tension, and this is going to annihilate the lateral deltoid. So I'll show you guys from behind so you guys can really see the activation. So just watch this. You're gonna start on the ground just like this. And this is called the rear delt floor fly. That's what I'm calling it at least. So you're gonna be lying on the ground, feet right in front of you, hands out at your side. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your rear deltoids. You're gonna initiate from right here and you're gonna lift your upper body off the ground, your elbows off the ground using your rear deltoids. So you're gonna drive in, hold it at the top and back down. Elbows off the ground, hold at the top. And if you want, try to hold it at the top for even longer. Drive in, hold it at the top. So I feel a tremendous activation right here. So you're driving in, your elbows are coming off the ground. You're gonna feel all that activation right here. So watch this, if I flip around, pay attention to the activation right here now. So that is with zero weight guys. So to actually take this to the next level and put more time under tension, what you could do here is basically mimic one of these, a reverse pec fly and same concept. Squeeze at the top for one second, back. Squeeze, just move your hands forward a little bit. 
keep on squeezing those root delts. So this next one, we're calling it up, up, and away. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna start off in plank position and you're still gonna be abducting, but what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be moving your body away from your arm. So watch this, staying in plank position. So this one's gonna blast those lateral deltoids and you're actually gonna feel it on both your arms here. Squeezing this one at the top, you're gonna feel this one balance you. Abducting, pushing your body away. And I want you guys to go 10 to 15 reps on each side, really short rest times. See that guys? That is a pseudo planche lean. So see how I'm moving my head forward? I'm putting my head, look at how much farther my head is versus my hands. My hands are angled to the side. I'm leaning forward. This lean position, look at my shoulders work. Look at all that stress on my shoulders. Look at the pump on my left and right shoulder. Guys, you can build muscle with no weight. This is brutal. So you're gonna hold this position for as long as you can. And that's the beginner. That's just the beginner version, guys. Now, you could take this move to the next level, two different levels. There's the superhuman version, which I can't even do yet. And then there's the push-up version. So just like the, so the lean forward, more of kind of like a static hold. Now, a push-up, obviously lean forward. And the farther forward you lean, the harder it is, guys. So both moves, really great side delt activators. What you could do is you could go a hold until failure followed by push-ups or do the reverse. Lots of fun ways to shock those delts into growth. Troy's final thought, get more creative even better than Jerry Springer's final thought. And guys, I really had never tried body weight training with my shoulders before making this video. All I did was I researched, I tried about 100 different moves, and I picked up my five favorite. Now, I know you guys are stuck at home, your gym is closed, and you're probably spending way too much time on sites that end in tube and hub. But guys, I challenge you, just one hour a day, try to get creative with your workouts, try to challenge yourself to new things, and I promise you're gonna see those gains at home.